way. No way. Did I just cure asthma? What's up and good morning, YouTube. Now, before we get to the fun of figuring out can a couple of med students solve or cure asthma, we gotta start the day off right, some morning Anki. So let's get into it. Now my favorite part of the day to get hyped up on pre-workout, go get a good workout in back day, because you can't keep the day going unless you get a solid workout. Just like that, rent has been paid. Let's uh, shower up and uh, continue on with the day. All right, friends, lunch time. So as I normally make, it's eggs and toast, but I've done something slightly differently. So I've cut out two of the full eggs and added in more egg whites. And so by cutting out the two eggs, I've dropped my calories or my overall fat intake by about 10 grams, which doesn't seem like a lot, but that's my goal right now. Just because I'm studying, I have exams coming up, I can't cut calories, five, 600 calories, um, and then just think that my brain is gonna work the same. It's little increments. And I think that's what a lot of people kind of struggle with, especially myself, is you know, you wanna have this big, good, healthy journey. So you're like, oh, let me just cut out 500 calories right away and let's go to it. But you're not used to having your body, your body's not used to making these big adjustments. And so when you try to do it, then you, you know, lose the energy, lose the motivation, and it's difficult to keep it up. So I'm trying to do little by little, slow changes to my diet, and then um, have that improve my overall health. Because that's one of my New Year's resolutions is I wanna look better, feel better, and hopefully perform better. And so with that being said, let's dig in. All finished up from a great lunch. Uh, so just kind of want to let you guys know what's happening for the rest of today. We have our asthma summit. Um, if you guys were following me last semester, we had our HIV summit. So the summit is a big way for GW to really emphasize the importance of public health and how can we as medical students learn more about it and do more within society. So asthma summit, um, we have our event or panels later today. And then after that, we have to come up with a opinion piece that we have to write up uh, to deliver. So we have that later on today. Um, I'm gonna go meet up with some classmates to watch the panels um, together and then start working and grinding out on our actual opinion piece on our paper that we wanted to submit for overall submission and approval. Alright, 
back home from school. And I will have to put out a disclaimer. I didn't actually cure asthma. So let's sit and chat about it. Okay, take this off. So why did I say that I was curing asthma in the thumbnail and the title? Well, it's because we're gonna address a way to cure, maybe not to cure, but to help alleviate asthma and the issues there. So for the asthma summit, like I said earlier, for that we are actually writing up an opinion piece about what we think should be done for overall asthma treatment and management. Now, with that being said, my group in particular, we wanted to focus on exercise-induced asthma for all kids, just because you know I've personally experienced it. So as a kid, I had asthma. I felt like I was fine, and then I'd say around like middle school is when I really noticed that I had trouble breathing. You know, I'd be catch, try to catch my breath while everyone else was running around behind me. Well, ahead of me, I was running behind them. But so with this, we're trying to write a proposal so that way we get sports coaches and after school directors more knowledge and overall power as far as how do they either see signs and symptoms of an asthma exacerbation and what should they do, uh, ways that they can talk to the kids about it, ways that they could talk to parents about it. So that way kids don't lose all their opportunities to go and play sports, go and do after school activities. Cause that's the last thing that we want them to have because playing sports and doing stuff after school does so many more beneficial social and psychological benefits for these young kids. You know, we wouldn't want asthma to hold them back from doing something like that. So a little bit clickbaity, I know, I know, I hope you guys will be okay with it, but we're just trying to find a way to uh, help out and, and give our own opinion piece on what should be done for asthma treatment and medication. So got some work done at the library, like, well not the library, got some work done at the school, like I was saying, worked on uh, finishing up this opinion piece and uh, did a little bit of studying and other work that I need to get done, working for summer plans that I have uh, some research opportunities are being lined up. So that's it. And then I'm going to grab some dinner right now and then watch some of the lectures from today that I missed. So let's eat because I am hungry. Cold food in and warm food out. What would I do without a microwave? All right, friends, going to wrap up the video here. Hope you guys really enjoyed this kind of content, more of seeing what I do in the day. And I hope the click baby title thumbnail wasn't too terrible. Uh, just, you know, trying to switch things up. End up the night here watching some videos on the acute respiratory distress syndrome and uh, finishing up my pulmonary block, which ends the day after you guys see this. So wrapping that up, crazy to think. Another bit of med school is done. Um, really appreciate all the love and support I've been getting from you guys re recently. Really helps motivate me to put out more content, put out better content, and just keep talking to you guys. So the best way to keep it growing is be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what other videos, what other things you guys want to see from a medical student. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one as we embark on the journey, MD in the making. Peace.